Hey gang, today we're going to do Robbie Krieger's excellent solo to The Doors Roadhouse Blues. It's a vamp over an E7 and it's Chuck Berry Lick up the wazoo. You really have to know the Chuck Berry Lick down cold and do it over and over and over in different permutations. It's really kind of a cool solo despite its simplicity. So let's go over that right away. We'll do a demo, then the lesson. All right, gang, let's go over this note for note. First things first, you can download the tab from the link in the description below. Might make your life a little bit easier. Okay. Actually, it definitely will this time because there's a lot of counting of how many times you're gonna do a specific riff and stuff like that. So it definitely will help. Okay, let's do the whole thing slow-mo first and then we'll break it down line by line. We'll also give you the aerial slow-mo. Here we go. So we're gonna start out here on the 12th fret on the first two strings. Here we go. Now let's do the slow-mo from overhead, up here on the 12th fret. All right, let's go through it line by line. Again, I want to remind you, you should rely on a tab to do all the counting of how many times he does one particular lick or what have you. There's a lot of repeated licks in this. First line is this. Straight Chuck Berry on this one. We're gonna slide up on the E and the B strings on the 12th to the 12th fret. That's double stop. Play that th three times, a triplet, three times. And the last time we're going to play this. 
So we're going to bend up on the G string at the 14th fret, whole step bend, and then play that double stop twice. Okay, here's the second line. All right, pretty straightforward. We're just going to do what we did in the last beat of the last measure, and we're going to do it four times this time. Okay, so bend on the 14th on the G string, and then that double stop on the 12th twice. Repeat four times. Okay, next measure starts to get a little bit trickier. Okay, here it is. Okay, this time we're playing a bend on the 14th, and then we're going to play a double stop, but we're only going to play it once and then go back to the bend. We're going to do that a, a bunch of times. End time, we're going to just simply bend on that 14th on the G string and come down to the 12th. Okay, so... Here's the next line. Now this one we're going to cover two measures because it kind of bleeds across the measures. And I will make no bones about it. This I think is the hardest one because Robbie Krieger was really playing around with the metrics or with the measure, okay, with the beats. Let's do it first, okay? So here we go. Well, let's gear up for doing our regular Chuck Berry, but this time we're only going to play the second string or the B string at the 12th. So that's pretty straightforward. Now we're going to play our Chuck Berry, but this time we'll go up to the 12th on the, on the second string and the first string and come down to the 15th on the second, like so. All right, so we've got two of those. Let me play the whole thing now. The first two parts are... All right, then we're going to play a double stop on the G in the B strings, the third and the second, on 14 and on 12. You can give that a little vibrato if you want. So, up till now we have... All right, at this point, here's where it really gets sort of free form on the, on the flow. And we're just going to bend up on the 15th fret, whole step bend, and give it some vibrato. And then we're going to play this. So that is, as fast as you can do it, 12 on the E string, and then 15 on the B string, and, and bend that up to double it. We're going to do that twice. And then at the end of it, we're going to get back into the rhythm and just play that bend on the 15th whole step and then two of the E string on the 12th. All right, so one more time. Here is the whole lick. It bears saying that I think Robbie Krieger actually did something that was a little bit harder, and instead of playing this, instead of playing this note right here, he bent on the 15th, like so. Now, it's easy enough to play at this speed, but when you play it super fast, I find it difficult, so I decided to do it the easy way for everybody. But if you want to do it the authentic way, you should bend on the 15th and then bring it back. Okay, so like this. But the freeform nature of this makes me feel that Robbie Krieger would think it's probably okay. All right, getting to the end of the stretch here. Now we're playing this. We're going to play this line. We're back in triplet feel and we're simply playing the last line that we did at the end of the previous lick. So we're playing on the B string 15th whole step and then two hits on the 12th on the E string. You do that three times and then play. And it sets us up for the next lick, which is this. Very, very similar to what we did before. 
playing on the G string 14th and then two hits on the B on the 12th and then repeating that three times and then playing this to end it. A little bit different than the first one so just kind of look for that. 14 pull off to 12 and then play 14 on the D string. Okay here's the last line and it's a transition or not the last line but the last line of this part which is a transition. Okay, so those last two notes were open B and open E. So we're gonna play 12, pull off to open. This is on the G string now. And then play the 12th again, and then play this little dipsy doodle. Such a common rock lick. And then the open B and the open E. And that just gives you time to move your hand down for the next series of licks where we're going to switch from the 12th position to the first position. Okay, so here's the last few lines. The next lick is really just a super long lick. You could say he's going to E major pentatonic here, but the reality is he's just playing a lick and it's basically this. And repeating that, I don't know, about 100,000 times. Anyway, we're going to play the open B string, hammer on to the second of the B, and then play the open E string. So, and we just repeat that until, until the song moves you to play something else, okay? So at the very end, we get into the harmonica, playing off between the harmonica and the guitar. We're playing fours here. So it goes like this. Now this is again back in minor pentatonic land. We're going to play on the G string, two, slide up to four, play three on the B string, and then just kind of reverse it, ending up on the D string second fret, okay? And then the harmonica does what it does, and we do the same thing. And then the harmonica does what it does again, and the last line, which is barely audible, but you can hear it, he goes like this. And we're back in the song. So this one is actually a really interesting line. We're going to bend on the fifth, fifth fret of the first string and then hit it and bring it down. Play the fifth on the second string or on the B string and then play the three and the open third, the open G string, and the open fourth string, the open D string, and play the second on the fifth string or the A string. All sounds like this. Different note choice. That's an interesting note choice. And then we're back in the. And that's it. All right, gang, there you go. Robbie Krieger's solo to The Doors Roadhouse Blues. Kind of an underrated solo, I think, because even though it's simple, it's got some cool stuff in it, and it's played at such a speed that makes it kind of difficult. So anyway, it's good to get the mechanics down on this one. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on Down the Road House Blues. All right. <laughs>